Hey everyone, me Kevin here. So we've got a lot of drama this morning because of what Elon Musk just said on Twitter regarding the Hertz deal and Tesla. Look, so last week we heard that Hertz was going to order 100,000 Tesla vehicles. 100,000 Tesla vehicles is not just a massive amount of vehicles, potentially as much as 10% of Tesla's 2021 production and a substantial portion of Tesla's 2022 production, but it also marks the first time such a large order has been placed by a rental car company for an EV, an electric vehicle, ever. It's a massive order and it's very, very, very bullish for Tesla because it reiterates that the Tesla brand is one that stands for low maintenance, fuel efficiency and cost effectiveness being as cost effective as or potentially even more cost effective than a Toyota Camry. And the Toyota Camry is often seen as the gold standard of cost efficacy in cars. So this is really, really bullish for Tesla. On top of that, Hertz later came out and suggested that, hey, we're not limited to buying 100,000 vehicles. We wanna buy 100,000 vehicles and use, well, all of them in our car rental fleet. We actually wanna dedicate 50,000 of them to our Uber partnership, where individuals who work for Uber can rent Tesla Model 3s from us for around $300 a week and then drive Uber with those which is phenomenal because then when you're done with it, you could just give it back to Hertz and somebody else can rent it out for the Uber partnership. Uh, but beyond this, the uh, Hertz CEO came out and suggested that they're not limited to 100,000. If this goes well, they might order another 100,000 on top of that. And so this has been extremely bullish for Tesla, not just because of uh, what, what it says, the, the massive testament that it is for the vehicles, but the fact that it's also a big order. It's a lot of, of dollars. Now, we know that uh, Hertz, based on the valuation of how much they're spending on this uh, 100,000 vehicle order, is not getting a discount. This, this is good because it, usually rental car companies require that uh, automo uh, automotive manufacturers provide uh, discounts for bulk orders. And some people think that, well, if I'm going to order in bulk, I should be able to get a discount. That may be true if you have a product that doesn't easily sell in bulk, but if you have a product that's high quality and at a perfect value to where there's plenty of demand for it. Otherwise, supply and demand dictates and says, you do not need to lower the price. And that's exactly what's happening here with Tesla. Tesla is not lowering the price for Hertz's partnership or Hertz's deal in ordering 100,000 vehicles and potentially another 100,000 vehicles or more vehicles thereafter. However, the stock market, uh oh. However, uh, right now, we've got a little bit of drama over this because of what Elon Musk just said on Twitter. Take a look, folks. So somebody tweeted yesterday, Super Tesla stonks. Thank you, Elon Musk. Uh, and they post a picture here of uh, Tesla at record highs, over $1,200, $1,213. And Elon Musk says the following, you're welcome. If any of this is based on Hertz, I'd like to emphasize that no contract has been signed Yet, Tesla has far more demand than production. Therefore, we will only sell cars to Hertz for the same margin as to consumers. Hertz deal has zero effect on our economics. Okay, now there are a few things to unpackage here. First, uh, the bears are going to look at this and go, oh my gosh, did, did people lie about this Hertz deal? Is this all Fugazi? Uh, is, this, is this all made up so executives can sell shares at high prices? And uh, the SEC needs to investigate Tesla because uh, Tesla's a fraud. That, that's what you're going to hear from the bears. Now, uh, a, a logician, uh, not, not to be confused with magician, but somebody who uses logic, uh, is first going to break down a few things here. First, no contract has been signed yet. Look, even though it's easy to say uh, that Hertz can just go to Tesla.com and buy the cars uh, themselves and pay the same price as everybody else, I get it. Realistically, somebody's not going to sit there at Hertz and check out on 100,000 different vehicles. If anything, that would also just bog down Tesla's ordering system. So I would expect that there would be some form of contract. 
there will also be some form of cost savings for Tesla. Uh, these, this is the fact that they can bulk deliver the vehicles. They don't have to one by one deliver the vehicles. They can drop them all off in the same location. They can truck them all into the same location. Uh, there are cost savings uh, with a financing. They can be bulk financed. There are a lot of different cost saving measures uh, that can be used when you do a bulk order. So there is going to likely be some form of modest uh, price adjustment. However, as Elon Musk makes clear here, Hertz will only receive the vehicles at the same margin. In other words, the same bottom line to Tesla. So it's kind of like, hey, look, you know, look, we don't have to deal with all the, the uh, you know, coaching you through this process, the financing, the, the deliveries easier, all these things. That's gonna save us $500 in cost per car. Uh, you know what, we can pass that along to you. That's not providing a discount above and beyond any kind of uh, savings that are being created out of the scale of the transaction, right? So Elon Musk here is not giving Hertz the middle finger is saying, we're just not gonna work with you at all, go use the website. He's saying like, we will work with you. We haven't signed a deal yet, we're working on it. But let's be clear, and, and this is the more important message. Elon Musk here is saying, we don't need Hertz. We don't need to provide vehicles to Hertz to have demand. We have plenty of demand. We are not reliant on Hertz. And so Elon Musk, in my opinion, this, this is actually quite bullish. He's really coming across here is, is in, in some sense, slightly cavalier. Like, hey, you know, this all Hertz deal is cool and all. I certainly hope the stock isn't running because of the Hertz deal because it should be running because of me. You know, in other words, like we're doing great. We're, we've got plenty of demand. Now, uh, and, and, and we don't really need more demand. What we need is more production. Elon Musk has always lamented how much how, uh, the production constraints uh, that Tesla has uh, and how long it takes to actually scale production. Now, uh, this uh, by, uh, at least according to Gary Black, uh, and this is Gary Black's opinion, he's great. I spoke with him yesterday on the channel. I'll be posting the full interview uh, on, on my channel today. You can still see it yesterday, though. Uh, one thing that's very interesting, though, is Gary Black says, this sounds a whole like a whole lot like what Elon Musk said, uh, you know, uh, gosh, at this point, that'd be uh, over a year ago, uh, actually more than a year ago, uh, when Elon Musk says uh, that the stock price feels like it's too high. This was back pre-split when the stock price was like $750. The darn things fell to $640 and, uh, and, and uh, people kind of lost it thinking that, oh my gosh, the CEO thinks the stock price is too high. Uh, Gary Black thought that uh, this was a very similar uh, potential uh, tweet uh, here, uh, which could and, and is likely going to affect the price of Tesla, at least temporarily. Uh, and uh, we do see that Tesla is down about 3% here in the pre-market. Let's do a quick little update here. Yeah, we're down about 3.61% just off that 1,200. Uh, we were up about 1% in the pre-market. So we were really down about 4.5% if you consider that extra percent there uh, just on this Hertz tweet. So anyway, uh, in my opinion, this is actually bullish. It's not that big of a deal. Uh, and hey, if the stock cools, uh, great. Now, there's also uh, the potential risk that uh, this tweet here ends up uh, being something like a uh, Robin Hood style catalyst, or should I say a freezing catalyst, where uh, it cools the momentum on the stock, it cools the gamma squeezing that we've been seeing with the stock, it lets the, the, the sort of markets uh, catch up uh, with the fact that the price has gone up, and uh, it could potentially slow down the sort of insane rally that Tesla has had and create another potential buying opportunity, especially if the price does rotate back to the downside. So anyway, uh, I'm a buyer at lower prices. I think this is great. Uh, either way, this is the, no matter how you slice this, this is great news in my opinion. So uh, here are my thoughts. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you found this helpful, consider subscribing and sharing the video, and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks so much. Goodbye.